Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Mathematics Grade 4, Quarter 1, Lesson 1. Our topic for today is about obtuse angles. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Content Standards The learners should have knowledge and understanding of measures of angles. Performance Standards By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to illustrate and measure different angles. For our learning competency and objectives, by the end of the quarter, the learners are able to First, illustrate different angles, write acute and obtuse, using models. Second, measure and draw angles using a protractor. Let's have first a short review. Directions, classify each angle. Number 1 The answer is acute Number 2 The answer is acute And number 3 The answer is right Good job kids Next, we have describe the following angles. Write your answer in your notebook. Let's unlock content vocabulary. First, an angle whose measure is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Second, protractor. Protractor is a tool for measuring angles. Third word is degree. Degree is the unit of measure for angles. This is a 360 degree protractor. Yesterday, we learned that a right angle measures 90 degrees while an acute angle is smaller than a right angle. This time, we will focus on angles that are bigger than a right angle. Is the angle formed by the hands of a clock at 2.30 smaller or bigger than a right angle? Share your answer to your classmates. An angle whose measure is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Let's have an activity. Real World Scavenger Hunt. Students will identify objects or shapes around them with obtuse angles, making the learning experience interactive and engaging. Your teacher will be the one to facilitate the learning. Good luck! Let's have the worked example. Directions. Classify each angle as right, acute, or obtuse. Justify your answer. Number 1. 
Look at the picture. The answer is acute because this is smaller than a right angle. Number two, look at the picture carefully. The answer is obtuse because this is bigger than a right angle. Number three, look at the picture carefully. The answer is right because this is L-shaped. It measures 90 degrees. Good job, kids! This time, let's have a learning activity. The lesson title or topic is about angles. Activity number three, obtuse angles. Objectives, by the end of the lesson, the students are able to illustrate different angles, right, acute, and obtuse using models. Materials needed are pen and protractor. For the instructions, A. Box the obtuse angle. For letter B, draw an obtuse angle. Here are the examples of obtuse angles. Write your answer in your notebook. For our learners' takeaways, always remember kids what an obtuse angle is. An obtuse angle is bigger than a right angle, 90 degrees, but smaller than a straight line with 180 degrees. So it's like a big wide angle. Next, triangle rule. In any triangle, if one angle is obtuse, the other two angles have to be smaller than 90 degrees because all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.